radio station. We about to do this interview. Knock this out. Let's go. Third hour wait. Sweat. Someone please tell me what I'm running towards Perceive a life as a mental game, a tug of war What we even fighting for? Do you even know our souls endure? Minerals, windows remain closed from the outside What's a nine to five when we only need three eyes To sustain our lives when our hope dies? Mama said the living dream never had to tell me twice Pop said get a job, mama said write a rhyme Pops thinks I'm wasting time, mom said I'm doing fine Never quit, you this shit when you spit on a mic You were right, I think God for this present called life For every morsel of ink I'm cutting deeper than knives Abusing beats as wives as truth Locks as lines There's a key unlock the doors To someone you never find Family, welcome back to Start Something on WGIV 103.3 FM, the soul of Charlotte You also can pick us up on the World Wide Web at WGIVCharlotte.com I am your host, Mr. Uh, Joe uh, A wonderful guest that's here today as we talk about In Living Color when I talk about color, I'm talking about not just blue and red, I'm talking about green. You know, last year, the Arts and Science Council invested about $12 million. Wow. $12 million. Mm -hmm. That's how important arts is into our community. Yeah. So when we think about the arts and we think about that investment, we talk about legacy. And right now, I want to introduce legacy. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I said I'm looking at this guy, and I'm looking at me about 20, 30 years. 20, 20, <laughs> 20 uh, years 20, ago. 20, 20, 20. You know, and uh, our ultimate art is a very talented young man. I'm happy to have him on the show. And we're going to jump right into this interview with this young man. We got Joey. Joey. Hey. Joey here in studio. Joey, so, Joey, introduce yourself to our listening audience, and let's talk a little bit about who you are and what you do. Man, what's going on? My name is Joey, you know, out here from Charlotte, North Carolina. And, you know, pretty much I'm just out here really trying to bring, uh, you know, light to positive music. And that way I can really, you know, showcase myself in poetry. You know, just really express yourself because, you know, that's really what we're all about. You know, so, Joey, I, you know, I know you, but the audience don't know you and definitely our cast don't know you. Talk a little bit about your history, man, how you got where you going? We're gonna play some of that music that you talk about too okay. later, right? All right. Okay. All right. So talk a little bit about yourself. Ah, uh, well, you know, I'm 19 years old. You know, from Charlotte, North Carolina. And, you know, recently I went to Los Angeles, California, and uh, I went to Musicians Institute, and uh, that was a school in Hollywood. So what I did is I went there for audio engineering. And you know, after completing school, I came back out here to Charlotte and uh, started Sky U, which is a, a record label called Sky University Records. And through there, you know, we got artists such as uh, Trife, Nasa Nigel, we got Brio, uh, Carmen, you know, we got a couple different singers, you know, we just really building our team out here, really just trying to take Charlotte in our hands. Oh, go ahead, go yeah. ahead, go ahead. Jump Sky on, you. jump on. I'm, 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 I'm going to I'm gonna practice my ad lib yeah, 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 yeah. in case I want to put me down. Put it on. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about what motivated you to come back and start, we, we start something here. We talked exactly. about starting something. What motivated you to start a record label as opposed to, you know, getting getting down with somebody else, you know, the, the traditional way of letting someone else sign you to their label? To me, it's really all about family. And, you know, out here I got family, you know, everybody who I surround myself, we're all close, we've been with each other for years. And so I, you know, I always just felt like if we stick together, you know, we can really take this and really take it far. You know, we got a lot of talent and it just needs to be showcased. Well, I, I just want to say, I, I don't know if anybody else has recognized this, but when he walked in the door, like, he already has this mogul attitude. Because he walked in the door, he's got his entourage already <laughs> in him. Ah, I got the crew. The crew. The crew. He's already got the crew love. Right so, yeah, you know, that's a good yeah. uh, representation of, you know, if you, whatever you want, you got to speak it, you got to do it, you got to walk it. So he's like already it. walking that walk because he came in here and I'm like, well, good gracious. This <laughs> whole Charlotte in here, but happy to have everybody in here. But, um... You said you do, is it poetry as well? Yes, yeah, spoken word poetry. Spoken word poetry. Yes. So later on in the show, if we hit you with some impromptu poetry, you'll do that for us? I can I can do some. Okay. All right. Well, I'm looking uh, forward to that. Freestyle. <laughs> Joey, what's going on, man? This is Jay Hayes, man. Again, I just want to commend what you're doing. You're 19. You are a young man. You're a young entrepreneur. I love to see young black males just doing their thing. Can you actually just speak to some of the motivations behind your poetry, your music? You know, what really drives you as a young man? Yeah. Good question. What inspires you? I've always, I've always wrote music, and I always felt like it was my way to uh, separate myself from the world. 
um, you know, through all my anger and, you know, pains, happiness, you know, everything, I always was able to express myself through words and, you know, writing, like, literature, that's a really important thing to me. And, uh, you know, I'm really motivated through uh, my family, you know, my family really keeps me on my toes, they keep me on my feet. And, you know, that's really what it is, you know, just the love for the music, you know, love for the art. Well, I want to take it back a little bit as we talk about arts and creativity, Joe. Uh, we. <laughs> so, you know, I, again, I know you and I've uh, been around you for a little bit and know kind of your history. Mm -hmm. So you chose, to me, an uncommon path that most don't choose because you're a very educated brother. You know, definitely the way you've been raised as well. You could have took a, the path, the journey to go and be a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer. Uh, all those things are very you know, well off careers that you can take, or paths that you can take in order to obtain success, but you chose this way, you know, a very artistic way to uh, continue to, you know, do what you do, love what, the, love what you do, as well as, you know, sustain a lifestyle, you know, why arts? Why choose this other than being a doctor? Why mm -hmm. choose this other than being a lawyer, you know? Um, mainly because, you know, you got one life, and I feel like with that one life, you need to do what you want to do. And, uh, you know, if you got one life, you got to, you know, you got to take it, you got to do what you got to do. So, I felt like if you really put the energy towards it, it can happen, you know, regardless of what anyone says, regardless of what anyone tries to tell you and hold you back. Is it easy? Is it easy doing what you do? It's not easy, but you... But but you can make it easy. It's a, it's about the energy that you put towards it. Okay. You know, if you yeah. stay positive and you, you just put in the work e ethic, it'll happen. It just takes time. Now, are you a musician, <laughs> former musician, man? Did you, did, you know, how, how did you get off into the arts? I mean, you just decide one day to start writing? Or how did that work? It started off when I was about nine years old. My father actually made me play piano. You know, I, was, I was against it at first. Uh, I've been there. Yeah, I was against it, but then uh, over time I got into the drums and through that I uh, went back to piano, started playing guitar, and then that's when I started writing. I really started going hard with writing about 10th grade. Mm. Who, who out there in the game right now truly motivates you, especially when you talk about a positive Mm -hmm. Message that you that you bring out there, and you're saying that you you know you you put down positive music. Who out there right now is someone that you can look to and say, you know, I, I like the way they're doing or they're conducting themselves. You know, that's hard to say because I really try to be my own person, mm -hmm. and all I can really say is the rest of the Sky U team is my motivation. <laughs> that's that's what I look at. They, that they, they, they yeah. help. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's good. So, you know, we talk about Sky U. Uh, talk a little bit more about Sky U and uh, the mission and the vision for Sky U. Sky U is a, uh, it started off with uh, me, and, me and Trife. And uh, it just, it was just us, you know, just rapping. At first, you know, I wasn't even a rapper. You know, I was playing the drums and stuff in different bands. And then I was just like, yo, man, you know, I want to rap. So he was just like, I got your back, let's do it. <laughs> and then from just that, like that, right? <laughs> just like that, right? And then from that, you know, we just started going hard. You know, I got my homie Ion Quest. You know, he's got his whole third eye, third eye awake behind him. And then with that, we really just started putting together our own videos, recording, and, you know, just start our own movement. That's pretty much how it came about. So now, where are you guys at in the, you know, I think the journey of Sky U? I mean, what, what's the, what would be your next, I don't call it big, but your next step? You know, what do you, what do you see happening? The next step, I would say, you know, we're looking towards, we, we would like to get an East Coast tour going. Gotcha. That would be our next biggest step. Okay. How is um how is has the Charlotte um uh, the people in Charlotte received you? Been well received? Got a lot of followers? Yeah, we've been well yeah. received. You know, we do staying positive, you know. People will always have their little two cents that they wanna mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. But on the side of that, everything's been pretty cool, you know. I would say uh, you know, drama doesn't exist. It's really about how you perceive everything. Okay. So perception is reality. Yeah. I, I got I got one other question. We talk, you know, we're here. We talk about arts and, and style and, and um, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Tell me a little bit about your style, because I see you got the Celtic hat, 
which I love. I love. Okay. I like the Celtics. So tell me a little I bit about you. Like you. The Lakers. Hold up. I like Wait. the Lakers too. I look, I'm one of those girls that like You can't be team jumping, Howie. <laughs> we're not, we're not talking about me. We're talking about Joe <laughs> B. Okay. Right. I'm a Kobe I like fan. Yes, I, like I am. But I like the Celtics too. <laughs> I'm a girl. Look, that's, that's, that's my default to everything. I'm a girl. Look, <laughs> I'm a girl. But tell me nice. a little bit about your about your style, your 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 poetry style, your rap style, your individual personal style. That's a good question. Okay, well, I will first start this off by saying I'm not a sneakerhead, you know. I, I like to wear Vans, that's me. Okay. You know, I like my button-up shirts, you know, keep it plain and simple. Uh, I'm not really into a whole bunch of vanities and stuff. I'm just, just pure, you know. My music, you know, it straight up comes from the heart, it's from the soul. Mm -hmm. So what I feel, I, I write it, you know, no matter what it is. Yeah. So that's really, that's really my style, it's just purity. So I want you guys to get some of this soul food Joey is kicking. So Joey, I want you to introduce us, uh, our intro, this, this, this song we're going to listen to. This is The Message, right? Yeah, it's called Message. It was produced by Kenneth Cartel. You know, it's my uh, first single that I'm about to drop of my next tape. You know, the name's not here yet, but, you know, I'd like you to check it out. Tell me how you think. The message, Joey, you're listening to Start Something on WGIV 103.3 FM, the soul of Charlotte. We'll be back. Coming back in in about 15 seconds. Okay. Let's make it hot. Let's <laughs> <laughs> man. I'm going to work on it. Throw it down the ashes. <laughs> like, Jeezy, stop hating on me, man. Good, man. Like, Jeezy, I just want to get paid just to say, yeah. That Joker made a million off of that, man. This is Usher. This is Barack Obama. What the I had a poem. Usher came in Hey, good afternoon, family. Welcome back to Start Something on WGIV 103.3 FM, the soul of Charlotte. You also can pick us up on the World Wide Web at WGIVCharlotte.com. I'm your host, Mr. Joe. Mr. Joe. Joe Drew. How we doing? What's up? Jay Hayes. The people's champ. You know it. You want to bring us in, Jay Hayes? We got another caller online. And uh, Jay, you, you know a little bit about this guy, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First, I just want to give him a shout out to Sky U, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna have to applaud this guy, man. Yeah, I'm in the studio. Man, youths. We got the youths. We got the youths. We got the youths in the studio, man. So we're gonna jump back to Joey and Sky U. Uh, we got another track we're gonna be playing. Um, we're gonna take us out, Joey, man. What do you think about you know the next generation as you talk about beyond you, man? Mm -hmm. You know what you're doing is creating legacy for yeah. me. You know for you know for the next generation to come when we talk about arts and creativity. Um, how can you continue to do that? How will you continue to engage, I would say, the kids up under you and your music and your company? How does that work for you? Honestly, uh, it's about just remaining positive and bringing that positive energy, you know, just really manifesting what you want. And, Are you a uh, positive dude, man? I'm a positive person. Oh, well, he keeps hearing him saying that, that, man. Bruce Lee that, glow yeah, 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 you do. It's like your soul glow, man. That's your soul glow. That's what it is, you know. It's all about positivity, yeah. you know, positive energy attracts positive energy. Right. Yeah, it's big. Like attracts like, that's what I always say. Ooh, did you always say that? Yeah. That's, that's a quote, that's a, that's yeah. a how we doing quote. Right a there. bang bang. <laughs> so, we, how you said something about maybe an impromptu, uh, yeah. you know, you want to, you know. Yeah, just, Joe, you think you could share a little bit with us on a little poetry or? A little rap or something? See, you know, I'll let you ask because you it sounds better a woman asking a man. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. <laughs> true, 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 true. 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 Alright, I got you. Can you hit us up with something? See, look at yeah. that. I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm a girl. <laughs> That's what my niece says. My niece says I'm five and I'm a girl. <laughs> Alright, um, sentimentally, um. Sentimentally speaking for metaphors and similes as pastel paints, they paint imagery. I'm a thick brush stroke, are you feeling me? Nah, I'm really feeling chemistry. Honesty is a priceless commodity. 
I wake up to mom thinking this manager calling me. Phone backed up from girls texting, they calling me about the old feelings that they got from me. Maybe they miss me, wanna kiss me, not being cocky, but the old me, they diss me. Grinding so I'ma get it. Family back home is tripping and old piece acting like, man up. Don't let yourself be the competition you ran from. Okay. Look at Joey, bro, and came up. It's honesty, fame must. Trust is dangerous. Sky you is something that is made above something undescribable. Ooh. Ooh. I'm about to pay you a little wow. something to bring you to the crib and let you woo woo woo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was, like, about, like, I was about 15 years younger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about you. Joey. Joey was That's like, like, I like that idea, man. Hey, you know, man. like the violin and she's yeah. come to the table. Yeah. Hey, Let's bring you up. some money, man. <laughs> hey, we got to spend with our own. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Right. That's all right. Well, what, what, what the crew think? Yes. Yeah. Crew like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I wanted the crew to get on, too, so uh, I have someone else that was wanting to entertain the mic, so I'm going to say bring you up uh, and, and let you say something, man, to the mic. This is your time, man. This is about you, you know. So uh, who I have here? Who am I sharing my mic with, sharing this love with? This is Nasa Nadja right here. All right, man. So uh, Sky you know. University Records, Third Eye oh. Wait. Okay. And I'm a rapper. Um, I just dropped a mixtape. Check it out at skyu.bandcamp.com. And uh, come support Sky University September 23rd at the AMCS Bodega. Okay. We got a set. Me, Joey, Trife, Izzy. It's going to be a good time. Come check us out. I like that, man. Right. So it's your time. You got something you want to, you know, uh, support? Well, here go the rest of Sky U. We got Trife right here. All right. Trife, come on up. What's up, man? Uh, this is Trife. Uh, I just wanted to tell you how to check out my band camp at the trifeislifestyle.bandcamp.com. Um, spit? No. I'll, I'll spit for you guys. Okay, go, go for it. Too? Yes, oh, please. sure. Yes, please. Um, it's Mr. Sinister with sentences. Matter of fact, every time I pen some stuff, it come out sentimental. Everybody want to get in my mental. Man, doing that for your style, that is detrimental. If I come in with the pen and killing them again, they be wanting me to sin again. Get it? All right. <laughs> <laughs> we like it. We like it. We like it. We like it. These fellas are spitting that hot. Am I next? Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to get it, give him that village, you 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 know, uh, professionals about what we do. So we're going to introduce you to the drug, and that's the good drug. <laughs> A silly question, constantly asking me why I love her, but only show her affection and the colors, the only drug I never get enough of. I was a real freestyle. I know. I know. Look, man, we can learn something from these youths. You can. I'm your mentor. You need to learn from these youths yourself. This is your own. I love this music, man. Yeah, man, man I like this music, music, man. Touch. Your arms ain't long enough. You ain't spit no positive. I'm on y'all vibe though, for sure, man. Y'all young men gonna do it, man. Stay on it, especially you know. What he's spitting, talking about positive, all that negative stuff is gonna start. And I, I know y'all seeing that now, it's just gonna start yeah. going to the side, man. Right, and being right, the individual at y'all age, that's the hardest thing to do. I love that. Hey, I'm gonna punch your chest, man. The, the drug. Joey, Sky you, Joey, give him that contact information, man. <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter at CEO Joey, that's J O W E E. And you know, come check us out at the AMCS Bodega, September 23rd. So shout out Sam and Forever FC. Thank you, man, for entertaining us, man. Thank you for coming out. Joe